happy day one of the contemporary thon. Um, Olivia just woke up. I can hear her babbling in her crib, so I'm gonna have to grab her in a second. But I wanted to talk very quickly about the books that I'm going to try to read this weekend. And the first book is going to be When Dimple Met Rishi. Um, I'm actually, I just started it. I read chapter one. I'm very, I'm already hooked. So I'm excited to read this. Uh, it's also a good pick for Asian Readathon. So kind of combining two things there. And the book that I chose that's going to fit all of the prompts for the contemporary thon is um, Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. It has pink on the cover. It's going to be a fun read and it's under 250 pages. So I think I might listen to that one audiobook. It's only four hours long and it'll allow me to clean and take care of Olivia and just do multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to go grab her now. <laughs> what is that? It's a tiger. Oh, by the way, hi, my name is Emma. Uh, this is a, the mini contemporary thon vlog. We're just going to hang out for the weekend and uh, try to read some. I think the uh, plan for today is to just read when I have time. And I'm going to probably go find my headphones and try to start listening to Beneath Sugar Sky and clean because I need to. I also kind of want to make myself some coffee because that's how I feel right now. <laughs> Today we had a busy day. Randall had a couple doctor's appointments and, um, or has for the past couple days. So we were out the door by like 7.30 and uh, I'm hoping the rest of the day will be pretty relaxed. You're just going to have your face right up on my camera the entire video, aren't you? Wonderful. So I just got on to Scribd and see that When Dimple Met Rishi is also um, available on audiobook. So I am going to start with Beneath the Sugar Sky first. But when I finish that, I might just jump into listening to the audiobook. We'll see. Marathon, and it's also 1 30 in the afternoon. Um, I have not started reading anything. Today has just been a little bit busy. Um, I had my Zoom hangout or Google Meetup, whatever, hangout with my friends this morning. The light's terrible. There we go. I was thinking about combing all my hair forward like <laughs> cousin it. Like you cousin guys, it. we all have to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> my camera's definitely not rolling right now. Definitely not. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna include footage that's everybody like preening themselves. <laughs> Are you actively recording? Yes. That is a dick move and I, I know. It. You're welcome. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. That lasts about an hour and a half. So I've just been hanging out, which has been really nice actually. But I'm thinking about trying to get um, figure out where I am on when Dimple Met Rishi on audiobook. I'm listening to that while I clean up the kitchen some while this one eats. <laughs> okay, so all of the wonderful footage that I took last night talking about uh, Beneath the Sugar Sky had no audio on it. So we're going to talk about <laughs> Beneath the Sugar Sky, which I finished yesterday. Uh, I listened to the audiobook. Um, the full audiobook, I believe, is only four hours. It's four hours long, and I listened at 1.5 speed. 
Uh, I love this series. It's the Wayward Children series. It is a portal fantasy. It is a lot of fun. Uh, the first book read a little bit like a fairy tale story to me, but definitely written for adults. Uh, I love this series. So I don't really want to talk about what it was about so much since it is the third book, but highly recommend the entire series. Read it. Uh, but that meant, or, or that met all of the prompts for Contemporary Thoughts. It's under 250 pages, it has pink on the cover, and it was a fun reader. I thought it was going to be a fun read. And I did start reading when Dimple met Rishi. And I'm only a couple chapters in, like three chapters maybe. I was going to listen to this on audiobook today. I'm three chapters in. Uh, I was going to listen to this on audiobook today, but decided not to. I might change my mind again because I haven't really read a lot. And I kind of want to play Animal Crossing, even though I haven't played it in like two weeks. But yeah, I also kind of want to read <laughs> this romance uh, series that was recommended to me called Signs of Love. But the first book is Leo Loves Aries. And I've heard it's just great fun. And I feel like I would fly through it. I don't know what I'm in the mood to read, is what I'm saying. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm finally starting this on audio while I do some laundry. day of the contemporary thon. Um, I managed to finish when Dimple met Rishi, which I'm very excited about. I, I guess that was really it though. So I finished Beneath the Sugar Sky um, by Shania McGuire and I finished when Dimple met Rishi. And I don't know how to pronounce this author's name, so definitely look it up, but I probably should have looked it up beforehand. Menon? Sendai Menon? Nope, I'm butchering it. But uh, I really enjoyed this. It was a four star read for me, but there were a couple of things that kind of bugged me. Also, you're gonna hear, oh, can you see her? This one snoring in the background, um, as usual at this point. But the things that bugged me in this were mainly focus points. Um, this story is about a girl who wants to be a web developer or, or sorry, app developer. Um, and she has this great idea for an app. She's going to this like competition, I don't want to call it a summer camp, but like program. And her whole experience with that was, 
I don't know. I feel like it, it, I'm so happy to see like women in tech, this is a normal career, blah, blah. But um, I also don't feel like it was focused enough on that in a lot of ways because this was a, I don't know, 13 week program or something. Um, and we just kind of flew through and everything was very, very centered around their relationship, which I realize is the entire point of this book. But I do wish that they had gone into a little bit more of like the struggle of getting the stuff working or like what, a little bit more of what they were doing. Um, they kind of started off with like, oh yeah, these people are like, they're coding around the clock and they're taking caffeine pills and they're doing this and this and this. And then every time that we see her, they're like going out to dinner and hanging out and going to get ice cream and hanging out. And like, they're very important for character development, of course, but it just felt like the driving force of the like, why they are where they are and what they're doing was just kind of like, meh, whatever. And then, I don't know, I understand it's YA, so that's fine. Um, I can understand that I'm a little older for than the intended audience. But I do wish it would focus more on that. Anyway, that's why I'm going to stop harping on that. I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I really loved, for me, not being Indian, I got to Google a lot of different uh, Indian foods and traditions and... That was actually really interesting for me. So that was a really fun side of reading this. Um, Beneath the Sugar Sky is the, I think I keep, I've been saying the third. I think it's the fourth. It's the third or fourth book in the Wayward Children series. Um, they are very short books. They are portal fantasies, a lot of fun. I love them. Um, this one was no different, really loved it. Um, in each book, you kind of are following different people. This person that we followed um, kind of ended up taking a group with her and like going on an adventure. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil anything, um, but we do see a return of an old character, which was so fun for me. So I was very excited to see that. Um, I loved seeing the different worlds and seeing what non-logical things happen. I don't know. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I got to do that one. I also wanted to point out that I'm, I'm going to count this as a, that it's not quite peach, but it is pinkish. So I got two books in that category and I was very excited about it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. This weekend was spent Mostly just hang. I mean, we've been stuck at the house for a while, so just hanging out at the house. Went on a couple walks with Olivia. Uh, today we made banana muffins and not chicken nuggets. <laughs> and um, I did a lot more cooking than I usually do, so that was kind of fun. A little different. And yeah, now I'm going to figure out what to finish reading next since we only got the week of May left. I have a couple books that I'm in the middle of that I want to focus on now. Um, it just felt so good to finish a book, start and finish a book in a weekend. So I'm excited. I'm hoping that'll like keep the ball rolling. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And I'm thinking about trying to convince my wonderful husband to uh, fix my hair for me because it needs to be re-dyed and I'm not very good at doing it myself. And he does such a great job. It would be so wonderful if he dyed my hair for me this weekend. That's the point. <laughs>